Hello, I'm Stephen Knapp, Assistant Professor of English at Indian River State College. Academic integrity means honesty and responsibility in scholarship, sometimes called intellectual honesty. As student scholars, you have wide access to others' ideas, which you can use to acquire your own knowledge and understanding and to formulate your own arguments. But you need to treat scholarly information and ideas as intellectual property, property owned by its creator and protected by law. Copyright laws ensure that the creators of intellectual works are recognized and financially compensated for their original efforts. Limited use of others' intellectual property is permitted by law, provided that strict rules of attribution are followed. Consequently, there should be no borrowing of material without proper attribution. Borrowing without proper citation is a form of stealing called plagiarism. Today on the internet, information is just a few clicks and keystrokes away. Consequently, we see more and more that moral and ethical boundaries for using information are being pushed. So it is important that we practice the principles of intellectual honesty, which will create a foundation for success in our academic, personal, and professional lives. By following guidelines for paraphrasing, quoting, and citing source material, we both avoid the crime of plagiarism and showcase our scholarship. In research and writing, students use other scholars' work to support an argument. Students are frequently asked to write about a difficult question or they need to look up others' perspectives on some issue. Students may need an expert's judgment or students may have to craft a literary review or summarize articles. These are just a few possibilities when students work with information that comes from another scholar. If a student chooses to misrepresent the work of another scholar as his or her own work, or to use the work without correct citation or attribution, this is plagiarism. Although it might be tempting to think of plagiarism as only a trivial form of cheating, a mere breach of academic etiquette, this is far from true. Actually, plagiarism is a breach of intellectual honesty, both a moral failing and a criminal act. Consequently, due respect should be given to the originators of ideas, data, and information. An absence of such demonstrable respect in the form of citations, notes, references, a work cited page means that students have failed to fulfill a basic goal of the learning process. In the short term, students engaged in such behavior are subject to disciplinary action that may include failing in an assignment, failure in a class, suspension from school, or even expulsion from their college or university. Furthermore, not only is plagiarism dishonest, it often has lasting negative consequences for future academic and professional life. When working with original sources, students might find they have to summarize an argument of a scholar or directly quote from the scholar when a paraphrase of the information would be inadequate. When paraphrasing also, students must avoid using phrases and sentence structure that too closely mimics the original source material. The paraphrase should capture the student's ability to distill the important information and present it in a new and interesting way, accompanied by the correct documentation. When paraphrasing ideas or directly quoting other scholars, in order not to plagiarize, students must provide citations in the style required of the discipline for example, MLA, APA, or another style. When quoting information, the student must use beginning and ending quotation marks around any of the author's phrases and sentences taken directly from the text. The number of words used in a direct quotation should be as lean as practicable, and quotations should always be properly documented. Students must be careful not to add words to the quotation or omit words without following the conventions of the documentation style being used. It is important that we practice the core principles of integrity to create a foundation for success in all of our endeavors. In effect, your work must leave no doubt about which part of any submission, discussion boards included, is one's own original work and which part is not. Remember the acronym TRUST. T, tap your, in your personal intellect. R, research honestly and credit others for their work. U, Use your own voice when writing. S, showcase your abilities. T, turn in original work for every assignment. When you practice trust, others will trust you in return and you will enjoy a successful academic career and a more promising future.